Hi guys, welcome to my channel Over and Harmonica. Today I'm so excited. I wanted to show and share with you all the information that I've been got on the rebuild and customization on the silver concerto with plates. I know you also very exciting on this and many people has been waiting for this video very long. I'm sure that if you watch this video, it would let you down because I will share all the information and details on every single step that I have been made. A lot of people are very curious on the process and the result. This process, is it necessary to do so? And everything has been done for so long, is it worth in the result? Whether this is up to our expectations, it will improve on the sound level, on the enjoyment of playing level. In this video, I'm going to show you and share with you all these information. Let's find it out. I know recently, if you have noticed in my Facebook channel, I have posted a lot of photos on my Facebook channel regarding this customization. There are totally 16 steps in the customization. The first stage is we need to remove the reverb and the waff. Of course, this is not an easy process as the reverb, you need to remove it very carefully because you don't want to hurt the replay. And uh, after that, you're going to do the fret pressing on the replay. Why we wanted to do so is because when you get the original replay, the replay itself have a little bit curve on both of the left and right angle, which means it's not totally flat enough. Why we wanted to flatten it is because we want the replay and the comb stick together and hold tight without any single hole be in between them. So we want to flatten them and after that we will do the sanding process. The sanding process is we'll be using the sa uh, sanding paper to sand over all the uneven surface because after the pressing process we can't make sure that everything will 100% be flat. So we will go into do the sanding process to make it as flat as possible. Okay, after that, we'll be going to do a deep cleaning on it. And for the deep cleaning, I will show you the video later uh, on the deep cleaning process. What is the outcome, uh, what I have been found out in the deep cleaning process. And of course, after the deep cleaning process, we are going to do the embossing on the replay. Uh, for the embossing on the replay, uh, we want to narrow down the slot so that the slot the slot between between the reed and the slot can be even narrow so that the reed can be more responsive and more quickly and reduce the air leaks. After that, we're going to do a tapping M1.4 on the reed plate and also the reed. Uh, both of it because both of the reed plate and reed, the hole is just 1.0. So we need to do a tapping on it in order La, for us to screw with using a, a one N1.4 screw to screw it later and after that uh, I have uh, doing a, 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 a read polishing so uh, why I wanted to do show uh, I will show you the video later because uh, the concept and everything that uh, I'm thinking I put it in the practical on the polishing reads and the result is fantastic and I will go to show you later on the result and step 9 we are going to do a, I'm going to do a waterproof waff as you can know if you have noticed in my Facebook channel I also posted a, a, a photo on it on the on the customized uh, waterproof waff on it and uh, after that I will go to choose I'm going to show you what kind of screw I have been choosing from the starting to the end and what kind of screw is actually suitable to do this customization. It's very important to have a very good and uh, a high quality screw so that uh, when we do on the fixing on the read and to the replay, 
it can hold very tight and of course after that is the fixing reeds and the reed plate after we finish fixing the reed on the reed plate then only we do the uh, waft, waterproof waft stick on the reed plate and of course uh, on step 13 we need to do uh, tuning and adjust lead, uh, the, the reeds alignments this is very important as um, the, or the, the original reeds uh, when we install on the reed plate it doesn't sound correctly so we need to do the tuning as well as the alignment to that the reeds can go through the slot easily without hitting the reed plate and after that we will go to do the gapping gapping is very important also because uh, originally if you if you buy the harmonica when you play certain note sometimes you will feel that this note is very easy to make sounds but some of the note might not easy so you might feel that some of the note when you want to play it it might jam on it doesn't come out the sound and the sound come up later so we need to do the gapping in order to uh, make three octave the gapping is balanced it can sound very good responsive and balanced it's very important on the gapping and after that after we done this gapping uh, I also do another uh, time of the deep cleaning is about half an hour so that everything is clean up everything is fresh so that we can do the testing the final stage the testing on the real uh, silver control harmonica on the testing process uh, whenever I found the read uh, doesn't have good enough or doesn't respond enough or maybe the gapping is not correct I will redo it and fine tune it to the optimum level so that when uh, I really use this read plate to do a performance or practice I know this is really well uh, uh, this is very well prepared and everything will be fine and I will worry on the stage uh, this note will it come out or won't come out or am I going to have another issue on the sticky waff I will have a full confidence on myself and as well as the instrument itself so that when I do the performance I really can focus on the note and the music itself. Without further ado, I'm going to share all the info to you. Two years ago, when I'm thinking of doing this customizations, I have removed all the reeds and the valve on the silver concerto reed plate. Until then, I stopped. I didn't continue. But recently, I picked it up and I'm starting doing flat pressing on the reed plate and you can see on the top reed plate is after pressing and uh, after sanding so you can see there's a mark uh, there, there's a marking you can see the sanding part and the bottom uh, reed plate I didn't sand it this is after and before and I have spent so many time and do it slowly as this uh, sanding work is required uh, very patiently do it very slowly uh, day by day in order to make sure that it is flat on the flat pressing on replate I use a kitchen roller to do it slowly every time I press on it and roll over the replate it is very gentle and after I press one or two times I will check is there any improvement on the reed plate because this is very important to check as I don't want to overdo it or press too hard until it's out of shape after that I'm doing the deep cleaning and uh, you can see in the ultrasonic washing machine there's a lot of uh, uh, black powder uh, coming out from the reed plate and, and I think this is from the sandpaper so uh, whenever you want to uh, do this customization after the sanding work you must uh, watch this replay because this is very uh, dangerous that uh, after you if you didn't watch it it may be during the testing part or the tuning part or the uh, micro dust will, will, will go into your body I have watched 
three times and this is the third time so I can see there's not much left over on the tiny dust then only I stop the, this cleaning process after the deep cleaning I'm doing embossing on the red plate for this process we want to achieve better result on the read response I'm using the music tuning fork to do the embossing you can see at the end of the handle there is a round shape angle that can let you press on the replate slot you also can find a lot of online video to show you how to do this process when you do this process please be gentle and don't push too hard on it if you press too hard on it the read might not able to go through the slot and you need to revise this process to make the slot bigger in order to let the reads go through the slot after you press on the read plate testing it out until you satisfied on it so it took very long to narrow down 48 slot on the read plate after embossing the next step is tapping on the read plate as the original read plate and reads hole is just 1.0 we need to make it bigger I'm using tape 1.4 to tape on the read plate and read in order to use M1.4 screw to screw the read on the read plates. On this process, you need to do it very carefully and make sure when you tape in, the angle is 90 degree so that when you screw the reads, it will be straight and firm enough to stand on the read plate. Another thing you need to take care is do it slowly and gently don't broke the tape on the rib plate if you accidentally broke the tape on the rib plate it might be very difficult to take it out from the rib plate and the whole process will be gone i will proceed to polish the reeds the idea to polish the reeds is because i want to make the reeds become seasoned the original reeds are very stiff and when you play on it, you can feel there is a small percentage of air bouncing back or pushing back to you depending on how stiff the reeds. On the left side, that is the original reeds. The surface are not smooth and is very uneven. When you blow or draw on the reeds, this uneven surface causing the reeds unable to swing naturally and smoothly as a result you can feel the note are stiff on the right side is the read after polishing it look very shining and looks like a gold bar the whole idea of polishing the reeds is to remove the uneven surface on the reeds and let the reeds can swing easily and smoothly in my experience if i want to make the original reeds become not so stiff or generally the reeds become seasoned, I need to spend a very long period of time to keep playing on the same set of reed plate to make the reeds season. It is very difficult to show you when I play on the harmonica and the reeds is stiff. Let me show you a video after I polish the reeds result. You can hear and see very clearly the first read string through the slot very easily and sounds more naturally the second reads are the original reads without doing any polishing you can hear and see the reads are very stiff to swing through the slot and it sounds very stiff as well this causing the air bouncing back to you and you need an extra energy or air to push harder in order to achieve your music sound level and articulations